What can I help you with? Uh, I've got some uh, rare whistles here. OK. So you've been collecting these for a long time? Yeah, seriously, about 10 years. Now I have about 1,000. What's this one here you got? <laughs> Sounds like a chain. I hear it, Chuck. That's definitely a train whistle. The whistles I'm bringing in today is a cross-section of very rare whistles. All of them, except one, predate 1900. I've bought and sold and traded for years. These are extras. I'm looking to get 4,500. I'd like to sell the whistles because I'd like to have some money for our vacation. This is a pretty cool collection of whistles. They are neat inventions if you think about it. Most we see whistles now as probably sports games, but you know, back in the day, they were really important for police. You could hear them much farther than someone could yell. And uh, they used to use these things on the battlefield. Whistles made of bone, wood, reeds have been made for thousands and thousands of years. In the 1800s, whistles started being used from everything from trains to factories to know when you're supposed to go to work and when you got off. This is cool. That's a World War I uh, gunner's whistle or a torpedo boat. OK. Is this a whistle revolver? Uh, no, that's a uh, 1845 whistle. That one's the rarest. That one's extremely rare. I like that one the best so far. So what do you want for all of them? Well, I'm looking to get the whole collection sold, so I'm looking for 4500 And how you come up with that price? Uh, rarity. They're all extremely rare. I mean, they're cool. I mean, it's just, um... I know they fake a lot of these things nowadays. Mm. Some of these, anyway. Uh -huh. So if you don't mind, I just want someone to look at them, make sure everything's cool here. Um, let me have them get down here, make sure all these are real, and um, then we'll talk price, OK? Yeah, you bet. I'm not quite sure why they're bringing a whistle expert in, because frankly speaking, there aren't that many experts in the US. So uh, I know these whistles are genuine. These are the whistles. These are the whistles. Well, I, I hope that among these, there would be one of the general service whistles. And there is. I thought I would bring along something that goes along with that. Whoa. When the first police force was created, the Bobbies, they started out carrying a nightstick. And this is one of the original ones from the 1830s. And they would carry a wooden clacker. The problem with the wooden clacker was if somebody took that away from you, they could hit you with it. That was a bad <laughs> thing, you know? So. By the 1880s, they started looking at what could we use to replace the clacker, and they actually ended up with this one, the, the one that we still think of as the standard bobby whistle. Cool. So what's your concern on them, Rick? Um, my big concern is, are they real? Absolutely. In any field, it's, it's amazing how good the fakes can get. That's nice. An extractor. That's nice. It's my favorite one. This was a big deal in the late 19th century. Let's see what we've got here. That's beautiful. That one's the rarest. In looking at all of these, I don't see anything on them that has been massively replaced. They haven't been refinished. So I think all of these are absolutely original. It's a nice little collection of early whistles. OK, thanks, man. Not a problem. Good to see you, Chum. Yep. Very good to meet you. Thank you. Ouch. <laughs> all of these whistles are genuine whistles. If Rick can buy these, I think he will do fine with them. It would be a great talking item for people coming into the shop saying, what is that? So they're all legit. What do you want for them? 4,500. I'm not looking at quite that high. OK. Um, I mean, you, you got some good stuff here. You, you do. But I have to resell these, and I don't think I'm going to get those numbers out of them. So that's why I'm taking like 1,200 bucks. Well, take this one out of the equation, and 1,200 would work. I'd give you 1,000 without that one. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 1,200 is as low as I can go. That's a killer deal. I'll go 1,100. That's the best I can do. OK. Sweet. Deal. Go write them up and leave them here. All right, I'll meet you right up there. <laughs> <laughs>